you've had some, more of these than typical for this franchise. Anyways, how do you think, on the whole, you've gotten into these afternoon games because they can be tricky to prepare for? Have you done pretty well with that in your? I don't even know. Over I don't even know. I don't keep track of it. Uh, as always, we're just worried about the day. I, yeah. I, I don't know how. You may have to tell me how we've done in the afternoon yeah, games well, your here. Decent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think the key thing is with afternoon games. I think the start is so important. Uh, I think teams can uh, can win a game. Yeah. Uh, having a good start in these yeah. afternoon games. Yeah. Harrington draws in today. Yep. Is that keeping Scott Harrington uh, involved? Getting no, I, no, I need more out of Nudie. No, okay. I, I, I need. Uh, I, I think Nudie has been a big part of our team. I think is going to continue being a big part of the team. There's been some struggles there, and uh, so a little bit of both, I guess. In, in where uh, Harry's been a good, uh, a good soldier for us here in the games that he's played. He's played very well, uh, positionally. Um, yeah, so a combination of both. I, I think uh, for a young guy. Uh, with Nudie, he can watch and maybe learn, uh, and and to get Harry back in because I think deserves to be in at yeah. times. Yeah. Has it been Nudibar not being as north south as you want him to be? A little bit of everything. Uh, you know, uh, the, just the battle level. Um, I, 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 quite honestly, his strength of his game, as I've said all along, is he can get us out of the end zone. Uh, I, I think he still does that for us. Uh, hasn't been as consistent. Uh, uh, th th this isn't a bad thing. I, it's certainly not uh, uh, to grind Nudie. He's a young guy uh, that's played a lot of hockey, uh, has been banged up a little bit here. It doesn't hurt for him to watch when I think I have someone capable that can come in and play. Sure. John, you talk. Go ahead, Sharon. I was say, how would you like to see your team finish out this regular season? I don't. Uh, uh, I want. I want the team to finish out the way we're supposed to. Uh, I don't. I don't buy into. Uh, because you have a certain amount of points or where you are in the standings, uh, that that should change how you play. Uh, it's a very dangerous situation when you think uh, that you're there and we're not. We haven't clinched anything. We haven't, no one's told me that we're in the playoffs. Uh, I, I think you need to go about your business as you always do. We have no business to think anything different. Uh, we've been through enough as an organization uh, with some inconsistencies along the way, to uh, it starts getting good to you, and you start thinking you, you've got all the answers and you're there. Uh, it's an unforgiving league, so we have no business even to be thinking about it. And um, yeah, so that's that's the way I'll answer that question. Do you think your guys are thinking that they're in? No, no, I I don't talk to them about it. We haven't had any conversations about it. Uh, I respect how our guys have handled themselves uh, this year, and uh, no matter good or bad what's going on with our team, uh, they prepare themselves each and every day, and I expect the same thing right on through here. John, you've spoken uh, over these last two wins of them not being pretty. What indicators do you look for early that say, okay, this might not be pretty, but I think we're okay? Well, yeah. Uh, what am I looking for for us to be better at? Is what you're saying tonight, yeah, or, today? Or, or do you see indicators that say, all right, this might not be a Picasso, but we're okay? Well, I, I, I don't, I don't think you see that early. I think you see that as the game goes on, just trying to stay with it. I, I, I'll answer that question by I think one of the most important things we need to improve at today is to get out of our end zone. We were a sloppy team uh, getting out of our end zone. The turnovers in that game. Uh, weren't the usual ones coaches are complaining about. In the neutral zone, it's a turnover and they come back. and We couldn't get out of our end zone where we had opportunities too. We were a sloppy team. Uh, this team is coming today. Uh, we, we know. We, uh, we know how they're going to play. And uh, we don't get out clean, we're going to be in for some trouble here as far as their forechecking and the amount of pressure they're going to try to put on us here. Being able to win these games, though, is some of that seated in what you did in December because you found different ways and now it's paying some dividends? Back? Yeah, oh, th there's definitely some of the ways we've won, and, and that's that's been the encouraging thing about our team this year is we've won games different ways and we've lived through some of those experiences and been successful where, at least in my short time here, last year we ended up losing games. and. So you, you learn how to win and you learn how to lose in those type of situations. I think we've been on the good side of it this year, uh, more often than, than not, that we can, we can really explore that experience when we're in situations that, uh, that aren't good, uh, but you still find a way to get it done.